say hi from cherished math. This is the problem. A red semicircle and a green circle are located inside a quarter circle. Find the radius of the green circle. I'm going to draw a line from the center of the quarter circle until this point here. And this line serves as the radius of the quarter circle as well. So if I'm taking the radius of the green circle as R, and for this part, that is going to be 8 minus R. The radius of the semicircle is 4 units. I got it simply by using 8 divided by 2 and I got half of the radius for the quarter circle which is the radius of the semicircle. I'm now going to make another line connecting the center of the semicircle to the center of the green circle. And now I'm going to do some labeling here. The length of this line is 4 plus r. Let me produce two blue lines to differentiate the situation. I'm going to put it here as well. And this blue line is the radius of the green circle that I'm going to label with r here. And this is r as well. And the last blue line is connecting from this point to the center of the green circle. So now, for this distance of the blue line connecting from this dot until the center of the green circle as h. And this distance that I'm going to label with the radius of the semicircle, which is 4, take away r here. 4 minus r. It is now forming at a right angle. Now, by referring at the triangle that I am highlighting at the top part here, I need to find what is the value of the h in terms of the r. And that turns 4 plus r squared up minus 4 minus r squared up and squared out of it. This is the value of the h by using Pythagoras theorem. And by using the same method, I'm going to work out what is the value of h by referring to the triangle at the lower part here where I'm doing the highlight with a star. That would be h equal a minus r squared up minus and the square of the r. And I have to do the square root of the whole thing. And now, for these two equations, I can simply equate it directly because the value of the h is the same. That would be like this. And now, I'm going to solve the problem here by expanding this equation. And this is how it looks like after the expansion. Before the expansion, the square root is offset in this equation. And now we need to simplify it. This is drop. So this is drop. 16 is gone. 8R plus 8R, I get 16R equal 64 minus 16R. So now 16R add up with a 16R is 32R equal to 64. So the value of the R eventually, 64 divided by 32 is 2 units. And we solve the puzzle. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.